go inside the national area because the leaders will have to come and address it. So by the advocacy for local government autonomy has been on for years. In the last political dispensation, the Eighth National Assembly passed the bill, but the proposed amendment failed to muster the required two-thirds vote of the 36 state houses of assembly. And so organized labor returned to the drawing board. In the last four years, it has intensified its advocacy on the policy. Your voters' card and your protest card must be held very sacrosanct. The two will actually give us liberty. The two will actually give us good governance. And the two will make us to hold our politicians accountable. From its headquarters in the central area of the nation's capital, NLC marches through the streets and arrives at the National Assembly gate. As federal lawmakers get ready to vote, on the latest run of amendments to the constitution, NLC and its affiliate unions say there is need to demand complete support from them on this piece of legislation. The autonomy for judiciary, autonomy for the local government system, and autonomy for the legislature. Justice Zainab Abubakar on 22nd February had granted the application of the NDLEA to detain Mr. Kiari and other suspects linked to the alert drug trafficking for 14 days. Mr. Kiari, through his lawyer on 21st February, approached the court an expert in motion and originating summons, seeking for bail and ordering the court to enforce his fundamental rights. The court had declined granting any prayers in the motion, asking Mr. Kiari to prove the agency on notice due to the amendment in the motion. At the resumed proceedings, Justice Eyang Eko in a ruling held that the application for bail had been overtaken by events following an order of a sister court granting the agency prayers to detain Mr. Kiari for another 14 days to enable it to conclude its investigation. Justice Eko noted that the sister court which gave the order in favor of the NDLEA on 22nd February was a court of coordinate jurisdiction. The court is inclined to hear Mr. Kiari's fundamental right enforcement suit with the urgency it deserves after the expiration of the 14-day court order. The matter was adjourned till 15th March. It's the day every resident of the state, particularly in Oshobu, had been looking forward to. The contract was awarded in February last year and the contractor immediately mobilized to the site. It led to diversion of traffic to alternative routes and residents endured since there is no gain without pain. The project has been completed and is now open to traffic. The governor, Adibuye Gawitola, performed a first ride on the flyover before addressing journalists. What we have done is to ensure that we allow the people to make use of the bridge. They have been, you know, itching for it. So we believe this is the right time for them to start to use the bridge. We want to appreciate the governor for deeming a fix to put this overhead bridge in Oshobo. We love him. We appreciate him. And you know that Oshobo is for Oyetola. Oyetola is for Oshobo. The project was completed without adding a cobble to the depth profile of the state. We have formulated our own approach to infrastructure development. Alternative project fund approach, which makes it very flexible for us to have a partnership with the contractors who have the money to do the project and we can work out modality for repayment without affecting our obligations. <laughs>